Hello there! So, in this first video about gold recovery, we're gonna concentrate about the gold fingers. Gold fingers, they come from different uh, computer components like RAM sticks, um, slot cards, etc. And um, I think also they are the, the easiest uh, components to extract the gold from, because this here is like a, a carrot gold plating on copper. So the only thing we have to do here is to see if we can get the copper beneath this gold foil to go into solution uh, with an acid. When the copper is uh, is gone, the gold foil is just gonna fall off as very thin uh, plates. From there, we can actually try to see if we can refine the, the, the carrot gold into more pure gold. So, the method I'm using this time is gonna be with citric acid. Citric acid is like a weak acid, but it's very good at putting small amounts of copper into solution. You can actually also use it for cleaning copper, brass, etc. But today I'm gonna see, I'm gonna use that method to to see if I can get the citric acid underneath this gold foil and uh, put all the copper in solution. With the citric acid, I need some NaCl, which is just plain table salt, which we're going to use as a catalyst. Then we need some kind of an oxidizer and we're going to use today um, hydrogen peroxide, just like people normally use when they use like the hydrochloric acid method. They also use um, uh, hydrogen peroxide. It basically, it just puts oxygen into the water so the, pro so the process is much faster. You can also maybe use just the air as an oxidizer, but it takes a very long time. And I would just prefer that I can do it within a short time. Uh, with that, we're going to put in also uh, H2O, so the copper has a place to go into solution. Um, I weighed up mixed fingers, 200 grams. And uh, the goal for this video is to see how much um, gold we can actually expect from 200 grams of mixed fingers. So I expect that into this process, if I mixed all the chemicals together and the fingers, then I'm going to be left with a fairly blue solution, which is a copper sulfate. I'm also a bit curious how much copper is actually underneath this these foils. So, when we are done with the process of getting all the, the plates off the fingers, I'm gonna see if I can get the copper out of solution again and actually also extract all the copper. I'm gonna use iron for that process. So, yeah. Next step is to mix all the chemicals together. So here, I have uh, measured up the different chemicals. We have here the hydrogen peroxide, we have here the table salt, and here we have the citric acid salt. So I measured up um, 85 milliliters of 10% hydrogen peroxide. And you could also use 3% hydrogen peroxide, but the 10% is what I'm gonna use today because I just had it. Um, the table salt, they are uh, 30 grams measured. The citric acid, I have 45 grams. This here is the container which I'm gonna mix all the chemicals and the fingers together. Here, I have a container where I'm gonna mix the chemicals first. And that is uh, 450 milliliters of water, just normal water. I just want to mention that if you're going to do this yourself, remember always to use uh, safety equipment like, like face shield, like gloves, respirators and so on. In this process, I don't expect a lot of fume production um, because this is a fairly 
a weak uh, solution so very much nicer to work with than the hydrochloric acid method which you really need to have like other, either a fume hood or definitely be outside not breathing in, breathing in all the, the fumes so yeah so next step mixing So, um, the reaction has been going for around 24 hours now. Um, I tried to speed up the process by applying some heat to it. This is just an old uh, coffee machine that I put under uh, a fume hood. And uh, yeah, it's just bubbling away, reacting. So. Um, I can see that the small foils are peeling off, but there's a long way to go yet. It looks nice there, all the foils at the top there, but as you might expect, it, it, it looks like it's much more than it actually is, because the foils are very, very thin. So, yeah. So. Day three, second batch, yesterday uh, there was no more reaction so I had to change the liquid. Um, I can still see some gold foils on the fingers and um, I don't think they are gonna come off if they didn't come off at this point. So uh, I'm gonna decan this, filter out the solution and retrieve all the gold foils. The rest just need to go into the next batch. What can you do? Um, but something I want to show you is that after the first time I decant this, I filtered out all the foils that was in the, the beaker. And this is the result so far. Again, it looks like a lot. But as you can see here, the foils are very light. They are like moving with the water. 
So you should think that gold is very heavy, but in but it's so deceiving. They are very very thin these foils here. So we won't uh, be able to make an estimate how much we actually have here. But the next step is to decan this. Uh, I set up a filter here with a coffee filter and in the bottom I put some paper towels. Some of the, the gold particles, they are very small and will actually pass through the, the coffee filter. So the paper should stop all the, the small particles. They will actually appear quite black because they cannot um, reflect any sunlight when they are that small. So yeah, that's the next thing. So now I filtered out um, the solution here. You can see that the the Turkish sediment here it's trapping a lot of the gold foils. So and I cannot dissolve this in water. So I'm gonna try now to dissolve it in hydrochloric acid to see if I can filter out the, the foils from the from the sediment. So here we go. And we have an instant reaction. You see? All the sediment now has gone into solution and released all the gold foils. So next step is to filter out this and retrieve all the, the foils from the liquid. Here we have the final result of our hard labor. It's looking rather pretty here.
and this is going to be the be used in the next stage which is the refining um, i would like to get this up to like uh, at least 23 carats um, and that is going to be in the next video not all of the foils came off you can see over here that these stubborn pieces it, they just wouldn't go off but that's fine they're just gonna go into the next batch uh, some came off fully there is no more coal on this year um, a rough estimate is is that that I think that 80% came off and um, and in the final tally we're just gonna we're just gonna multiply this with with 0 0.8 and we're gonna have like well like I said a rough estimate on, on how big the yield actually is from the the 200 grams so that is going to be in the next one thank you for watching and um, i hope to see you again in the next video if you have some suggestions to what i do or if i did something wrong be you, you can just leave a comment in the, the comment section and uh, tell me what i did wrong um uh, for me like i said this is a learning process for me this is my first time so i am sure i made some mistakes on the way so yeah, see you next time. Bye.